Gigantamax, a special form of Dynamax that grants the Pokemon a new appearance as well as a signature max move. Now, not every Pokemon can Gigantamax. In fact, there's only 33 total Gigantamax forms, and just one existing isn't enough for a Pokemon to be able to be capable of Gigantamaxing. To Gigantamax, a Pokemon needs to have the Gigantamax factor in order to be able to achieve the form change. Pokemon with the factor have a special marking on their summary, and can be given or taken away via the Max Soup in the Isle of Armor. Now, with there only being 33 Gigantamax forms, surely that would mean there is only 33 species of Pokemon able to have this Gigantamax factor mark. However, that is not the case, as there is a small select list of Pokemon that can have it without being able to Gigantamax. To start, there is Charmander and Charmeleon. After you beat the game, you can visit Leon's room and you'll find a gift Charmander. Now most people would just evolve it right away and not notice, but the Charmander has the Gigantamax mark, and it retains it as it evolves. This was to give the players access to Gigantamax Charizard, and before there was a way to give any Pokemon the Gigantamax factor. And so, for a while, Charizard's pre-evolutions were special cases of being able to have the factor without being able to use it. When the DLC came around, they added a couple more Gigantamax forms, some of which were to round out the Kanto starter trio. During the story of Isle of Armor, you are presented with a choice between a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle, both coming with the Gigantamax factor. So not only do both of them join the exclusive club, but so do their evolutions, Ivysaur and Wartortle. On a note, Pokemon Home also had to give Bulbasaur and Squirtle around this time that came with the factor, giving another method of getting them even if it was time limited. That brings us up to a whopping 6 Pokemon, and the end of the accessible entries in the list. A big part of Sword and Shield's lifespan was max rate events, usually highlighting different Pokemon, gigantic max forms, and so on. One of these raid events was for Milcery. Now, since Alcremi has a whopping 63 different forms, and is a Gigantamax possible Pokemon, instead of having 63 forms flood the dens, they made it so it was Milcery with the Gigantamax factor, allowing for the player to decide what form to evolve it into. The only way to access these Milcery were from time limit events years ago, so unless you have a save file that hasn't been connected to the internet in a long time, it's probably going to be a bit difficult to find one. Now we move on to the most interesting member of the list, Hatchram. Unlike the rest of the entries on this list, Hatchram was never intended to have the Gigantamax factor. During a max raid event, there was some kind of mishap that led to the generation of raids with Gigantamax factor Hatchram. There was only a small window of time where this was active, and thus is by far the hardest one to come by, being the only one I don't have access to myself. And, well, that is every Pokemon that can have the Gigantamax factor that doesn't have a Gigantamax form. A very little weird group of Pokemon, but neat nonetheless. If you enjoyed, a like, comment, and subscribe would be highly appreciated as it really does help out the channel. This has been Big Blast 99, and I hope you have yourselves a goddamn good one.